how to improve your video quality by fixing all this noise using Ultra Key in Adobe Premiere, as Brad shows you in today's episode. Take it away, Brad. You've got a lot of noise in the background. So we're gonna be fixing all of this. Changing it to alpha will make me completely white. And the reason why this is extremely beneficial is because it gives you a clear outline as to where the noise is and what you're trying to get rid of versus you. Bang, suddenly the background's behind me, but there's still a lot of noise there. Hey guys, welcome to a quick tech tips video. Guys, this is going to be a tutorial for you editors out there who are trying to make YouTube videos and maybe wanna learn this skill, uh, which is blocking out background noise in your audio, as well as chipping out that green screen that you've got in the background. So I'm going to assume that you've already got your audio track and your green screen file already imported. If you haven't already, go ahead and just click and drag them in. Um, but what you want to do is you want to click and drag your video in first because that creates a source. A source is exactly what Premiere Pro will recognize when it's exporting so that it knows what type of file it's trying to export at what resolution size. Um, so this is me. Uh, the video that I'm going to be putting together here is going to be a video that I uploaded on the Freedom channel whereby I introduced myself to you guys. Uh, so I thought it'd be a great example to just do that one. You can see my face right there and all these different weird movements. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so now that I've got my green screen in, I'm going to click and drag my audio. And what I like to do is I like to just move this over. Uh, so I've got this entire canvas to play with. And if I zoom in, you can zoom in by holding alt on your keyboard and then just use your mouse wheel. You can see that I've got the audio from my camera, which is here. This is my camera my, my camera audio. And then you've got the audio just underneath it, which is the clean audio that I'm going to be using. I record my audio all through Audacity. So first, what we're going to want to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm just going to match these up, click, quite literally just clicking and dragging. So if I move my timeline just over here, I'm going to zoom in even more, get right up in there and just match up everything. And then we're just going to quickly hit play just to make sure it matches together. So throughout the... And it does, but it's very, very loud. So we're gonna be fixing that. Once that's all matched together, I can completely delete the camera audio because I don't need it. I don't need the camera audio anymore. It's completely matched up with my audio that's directly underneath it, which is the audio I'm going to be using. So I can just right click that and click unlink and then just delete that and just move that up like that. So now we have some clean audio. So throughout the time of me, so there's a few things about this that we still need to change. So it is typically quite loud. So what I like to do is go to your controls over here, uh, go to your audio, and then just lower that down just quite considerably. So throughout the time of me, that seems a little bit more like it. Now let's go to a quiet area of the timeline. So there's no audio going on here at all. And let's just listen to the background noise. So I don't know if you're picking it up your end, but I can actually hear the fan of my computer directly underneath. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the audio. We're already clicking on the audio. And just in the top left hand corner, there's going to be an arrow pointing to the right. Click on that and it's going to bring open this tab here. So as we can see, going by our audio, we are on audio tab one. So we're going to head on over to audio tab one, which is this tab. And just above the black line, because we're going to be applying a noise gate above the audio so that obviously takes an effect click down and then go to noise reduction and then move on over to noise gate and then just dial that up to 60. i think 60 is a really good baseline it's going to sound muffled at first but this is normal essentially what happens is is the noise gate is trying to calculate what noise to get rid of and what noise to keep so if your voice is a consistent noise that is happening in the background it knows to keep it and then anything that's inconsistent like background noise and white noise it knows to remove it for example, so throughout the time of me working in retail, I wanted to f brilliant. And now if I go to a quiet area, literally nothing. So throughout the time of me, so this is very, very effective. It truly, truly is. And the reason why I say it's really, really effective is because believe it or not, I record all my videos in my kitchen. A very abnormal place for a gaming setup to be whenever you're gaming or recording but that is where i am because i simply just don't have the space anywhere else so behind me is the motor of a fridge freezer sometimes the tumper dryer is on at the same time and sometimes the washing machine is also on at the same time sometimes all three of these things are all running simultaneously uh, and i want to edit that out 
Uh, during the time that I recorded this, there was just the motor of my fridge freezer and uh, the fan running on my computer underneath. But apart from that, it doesn't seem like any of our appliances were switched on. But more often than not, when I am recording YouTube videos, there is so much going on in the background. And I just want to make sure that I'm removing as much as that as I possibly can. And the method that you've just seen right there is exactly the method that I use to not only match up the audio, but clean the audio. Uh, to make sure that the software knows that I just want you guys to hear my voice and nothing else. Now let's move on to the green screen. Now green screen is always fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag a background uh, into my projects box here because obviously I want you guys to see something behind me. So I just clicked and dragged in a picture from Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is a game that I love so much and if you guys watch the MGN Destiny 2 YouTube channel you will know that I am the one that creates the content for MGN Destiny 2 as well. So yeah we're going to leave that there and we're going to work on getting the green screen out. Now this is where the fun begins. So what you're going to want to do is head on over to the effects tab and then type in ultra and the reason why you want to type in ultra is because the effect that we're going to be applying to our video is called ultra key and ultra key is what we're going to be using to obviously chip out the green screen. So click and drag that directly onto your video, go back to your effects panel at the top, and then suddenly you've got your ultra key section that's just popped up here. So you want to grab your pen, your little pen thing here. I forgot the actual name, but it will come to me, I'm sure, as I finish recording, because that's what always happens. And then just click in the back. And some of you might look at that and think, oh, wow. It's already happened, it's great. <laughs> You've got a lot of noise in the background. There's still so much to do. My face is beyond pale white. I look like I'm losing life by the minute. So we're gonna be fixing all of this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag the video up by one because I wanna put the background behind me. Therefore, if I just click and drag that there, bang, suddenly the background's behind me, but there's still a lot of noise there, especially in the top corner up here. We're gonna be getting rid of all of that. So click on the eye just to hide the background, but we know it's there. You wanna come on over to the left hand side and you'll have a drop down that says composite. We wanna change that to alpha. Changing it to alpha will make me completely white. And the reason why this is extremely beneficial is because it gives you a clear outline as to where the noise is and what you're trying to get rid of versus you. So I'm the obviously completely right patch and you got all this noise in the background. So on the left hand side, we've got all these different levels. We've got transparency, highlight, shadow, tolerance, pedestal. We're gonna be playing around with every single one of these. So if we go to transparency just here, we've got a level. I'm just gonna slowly increase that. Okay, so you can see by my face there that that's currently coming back into focus. We don't want that. We want that to be completely pale. So we're going to leave it at 48.7 there. Move down to highlight. Highlight I usually put all the way down to the very bottom. Obviously if you highlight more you'll see more. If you decrease the highlight you're going to see less and that's the point because we want to get rid of that noise. Then we want to move over to shadow. Now shadow you might actually tweak after we finish this process. Um, but we don't usually want to increase that that much. I sometimes leave it on just 54.4 or 54.5, that's usually a good little sweet spot for shadow. Um, shadow essentially means that you as a person, when the green screen has been chipped away, that there's no shadows blocking out you and that you're still visible when people watch you. Tolerance I usually put to 100% purely because it doesn't really impact much, but you can see like the odd one or two pixel that it's able to fade out, so it's definitely there to help. And pedestal, I usually bind to the very top and look at that. To me, that's just so satisfying. When I see things like that, it's like, yes, things are happening. So yeah, you can see that we still have some noise down here. So we're going to be getting rid of that. So we're going to be moving on to the next bit, which is matte cleanup. I wouldn't touch the choke or the soften just yet. The choke and the soften is something you want to use as a last resort as it actually takes away the edges of yourself. So if you can actually limit that, that'd be good. Um, we're going to go straight to contrast and move contrast all the way up. And as you can see, it's getting rid of this even more. And then just underneath that, we've got midpoint. We're going to be increasing the, pit, the midpoint and it's getting rid of that even more. And look at that. So now if I go to my alpha channel and then put that back to composite, you can see that it's actually completely fixed a lot. There is still some things that we need to work on though. I look very pale white and you can see just on the edges, there's like a gray line on the outside of the, of the edges. That's where your soften comes into play. So we're going to go to the soften and then we're just going to increase that. And you can see those, gr those gray lines just fade away. And the reason why we use the soften specifically is because it softens the edges of yourself, which means it's not going to be a sharp cut. It blends in perfectly with your background and it just makes things look smooth whilst getting rid of that gray line. 
Now we're going to go to the very bottom one, which is color correction. Now I've been making videos a long time, so I already know what saturation I'm going for. But if you look at my pale white face right now, I'm going to change it from 100% to 132.4. And that pale white face is now got some more life into it. <laughs> that looks much better. So now we can uncheck the eye that we used to hide the background. And boom, we have me. And now let's play the video with this little clip with the audio completely fixed and the green screen completely fixed. Let's uh, just extend that background there. Let's go. So throughout the time of me working in retail, I wanted to, there we go. So guys, I really, really hope this helps you out with your videos. This is a really great way to sort of spice things up a bit and make things look a little bit more professional whenever you're doing gameplay videos or voiceover commentaries and things like that. Guys, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy watching. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And I'll see you in whichever video I next make. Take care of yourselves, guys. Thank you, Brad. He is the first recipient of the Freedom Scholarship 7-Year Plan. Click that eye to learn more about the scholarship and get to know Brad. He introduces himself, shares his story in that video, so you can understand why he was the first pick. And if you want to be next, just watch that video and learn about the scholarship and how he picked him in case you want to be the next recipient of the Freedom Scholarship 7-Year Plan. That means you have 7 years to make it big where we replace your full-time job salary so you can focus full-time on being a creator right now instead of sometime in the future when your channel is generating enough revenue for you to quit your full-time job organically. We accelerate the process by letting you start being a YouTuber today. All right, Freedom Family. I hope you enjoyed Brad's video. I am George from The George Show. And if you like this video, click the like button so we understand what kind of content you enjoy. Tell us down there in the comments below what you thought of the video. Until the next one, take care. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.